Hi, so in this session I'm going to be making a baked Tabasco. This is a, a, a number of components. Um, you can uh, uh, kind of put what flavours you want in. Um, I'm going to be using Chicon sponge today, but you could just use a Atlas, Atlas X sponge. You could use a bit of Genoese on the bottom. Completely up to you, really. Um, and then again, I'm doing a, a, a typical Chicon sponge with the almond fruit. But you could use pistachio, chocolate, whatever you want, whatever flavour combinations you want. So I'm just going to start, what I've got is I've just got one plain piece of the Jacon sponge on the bottom and then on the, um, on the middle one I'm just going to soak some in some raspberry syrup. I've just got 45 grams of sugar, 45 uh, water and then 10 grams of uh, raspberry puree and I've just made a little syrup. I'm just going to let that soak in there, it's just going to add a little, another little flavour, um, dimension to it and a bit of moisture in there. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to, this, this is all about adding layers of flavour and texture to your dish. I've just got a little bit of raspberry coulis here. I'm just going to use that as a bit like a glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sprinkle some nuts in the middle. So I've got some pistachio nuts here. It's going to add a little bit more texture. So just already, I've got something that's going to just taste a bit more than a bland, a bland piece of sponge. I've already got raspberry flavour for it, raspberry syrup, nuts. Okay. So this is now where we need to work that a little bit quicker. I've now got the raspberry ice parfait out of the fridge, sorry, out of the freezer, and it can it can obviously melt really quick. It's parfait, so it's only got a um, it's, it's got a melt really easy so it melts in your mouth and gives that a nice texture. So now all we're going to do is start piping on the meringue. And what I've done, if you can see, I've made sure that the, the ice parfait actually is smaller than the sponge. So I've made sure that sponge is cut around and it can really um, make sure that there's going to be no Air is what we what uh, no no holes. What I don't want to do, what I don't want to do here, is have any gaps because those air bubbles are going to act as a as a protection, to, as an insulation to protect to protect that ice parfait from the heat of the oven. So if you wanted to, you could use fluted nozzle, I'm just using plain pipe and bag and um, in a minute I'll show you how my final baked Alaska will look. I'm just first of all giving it a layer just to make sure that it's all completely coated. got a nice high oven, so 180 degrees in the combi oven. So if you wanted to, you could coat right to the bottom. I just want to leave the, the sponge showing little bit, it adds that little bit more colour. What I'm going to try doing as well. Now I'm going to just sprinkle some nuts around. Just a little bit. Again, going to just give a little bit more colour and look to the final baked Alaska. Traditionally you wouldn't do this. You just have your pipe to baked to, pipe to meringue around the outside but I just wanted to give it a different look. So now yeah, I'm just gonna finish it off. Just to come up a little bit. 
bit further down just to cover the wet sponge. I'm not so bothered about the dry sponge. do it all the way to the bottom but I find that when you're then trying to take it off the tray so I'm going to just sprinkle that a little bit more pistachio now I'm going to bake that off so I put the baked Alaska into the oven just a couple of minutes just to bake uh, just to crisp up and it will expand as well so I'm just going to put a little bit the meringue on the plate. Just to brown off. Now I've got this cooling because you want something kind of sharp and intense to balance against that meringue. So nice amount of cooling on the plate. Got a spot ready for my baked Alaska. Now I'm going to just start to sprinkle and garnish. And then again, some of the pistachio nuts. Quite generous, just for a, a look. That's there ready. Do these bits as well. Now I'm just waiting for the baked Alaska. So I've taken my uh, baked Alaska out of the oven. Just be very careful about the fan and the paper that you're using. Now I'm just going to lift that on to finish up the dish and then just a little sprinkle of the, the powdery, the powdery um, raspberry just over the top just to add that little bit more colour. And there we have it, the bite of Alaska.